Hi there. In uh, this video, I'm going to introduce you to uh, our do-it-yourself, <laughs> very redneck, if I could call it that, um, aquaponic system. And so let's get started. The, uh, the heart of the system is actually the solar generator. Um, it's essentially just a single panel uh, that charges two deep cycle batteries that I have in this here battery box. So one battery and then another one. Uh, then that 12 volt is being converted using the power inverter here to 110 volts, uh, which powers ultimately three components. Uh, two of them are uh, simple air pumps, aquarium air pumps. Um, and uh, just to bring some oxygen to our water uh, for the fish that's in the pond. And the third component is a water pump. And so the water pump, as you can see, there's our uh, power wire right there going to the water. And then in turn, we've got water that's being pumped through this garden hose here all the way to the other end of these grow tubes. And by the way, a lot of this I got either for free at some uh, scrap yards or um, for uh, very, very, very cheap uh, online. So we've got here um, our grow tubes. We're using Spanish mosses or media. And you'll see that we've got water coming out there. A fair amount of water both on this side and then the other. Um, see that water right there? So it's hitting the Spanish moss. Um, creating even more oxygen uh, and then um, coming down our tubes and you'll notice that we've got quite an abundance um, of tomatoes in there you know it's right there there are a few tomatoes on that plant uh, but the peppers really really like this setup uh, these plants are about I'd say a little over a month old and this tiny little pepper plant <laughs> that's not even a foot tall really uh, we've got um, we just picked three peppers from it, and, uh, and right now you'll notice that the fruit or vegetable uh, is doing fantastic. So I'm using um, an umbrella here, an old beach umbrella to create some shade, otherwise my water temp would, uh, would go through the roof, being out here in Florida. And so in the pond we have some uh, tilapia, and um, oh yeah, I wanted to mention these uh, grow tubes are on an angle empty back out into the pond. So we've got uh, roughly about 70 tilapias, roughly about an inch long um, in the pond and also about the same amount of bluegill. Uh, we'll be harvest, uh, harvesting those in the fall. Um, they should grow to uh, about a pound and a half, two pounds since by November. So um, there you have it. It's a very simple setup um, that is ultimately self-sustained. Um, we turn the, uh, the water pump off in the evening, uh, trying to save up a little, uh, a little power in those batteries. But it's been running for uh, a little over two weeks now. Uh, the tomato plants are doing absolutely fantastic. Peppers as well. We've got some zucchini back there also that's going to be growing. And I've got some extra twos that I'm going to be using. Um, I, fish, uh, I fished out a few fingerlings this morning and they're still thriving, doing very well uh, in the water. And uh, the whole setup... Um, I mean, for about $250, basically, for the whole setup, we're going to be harvesting uh, tomatoes, peppers, and zucchini for the rest of the summer, and, uh, of course, fish in the fall. And uh, there you have it. The majority of these parts were found from uh, on Craigslist, uh, except for uh, the water and air pumps that were purchased from uh, Lowe's and Walmart. Uh, I'm going to include some links below to uh, some of these parts that you can order uh, on Amazon to get yourself some free shipping so you don't have to go to the store but the parts will come to you and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please go ahead and click the like button feel free to share and comment and uh, as always god bless you in your endeavors to bring uh, glory to the risen king through your homesteading and farming all right until next time god bless bye, -bye.